YouTube, welcome to GY6 Scooters. Our next destination is going to be the gas station, guys. Is this a Chevron? Are they even open? Uh, they ain't quite all the way open. Sorry about this little pissed up guys, but we need gas. We're on the red. So where shall we park? This is just as good as any. Alright, I don't even think I'm gonna take off my helmet for this guys. But I will take the keys out. We're gonna go ahead and do five on six. And we'll go ahead and get a full tank with that. So we're all the way empty. Yes, indeed we are. So what we're gonna do is fill her back up with these here five bucks. Oh, you guys are in line? All right.
Uh, just five on six. Number yeah, five on six. Thank you. I think what happened here, guys, is uh, the, all these workers came in and they're grabbing their little uh, breakfast, you know, the breakfast, their lunch, the drinks for when it's hot out there. So it really uh, made things crowded in there. I'm just curious every time i'm on every time i'm on uh all the way in the red like i am right now i'm always curious about how much gas is still in there and it looks to be about almost an inch about a quarter inch so with these here scooters for anybody that's not knowing anybody that just bought yourself a scooter or something you always want to go with supreme guys 91 octane or 92 wherever it is in your state something over 91 91 or higher okay. Used to make it all the way up to the neck past that little bar in there not no more but I ain't complaining still gives me a full tank either way you look at it it's right below that little bar that's where the nozzle will hit you know but you don't want to get the gas all the way up through the neck anyhow you always want to leave a little room for air for it to breathe or whatever that's what I heard from the mechanic he says never top it off where the gas is actually just coming out of the freaking thing you know I don't think I'm going to use gloves, guys. It's freaking hot out here. But I think I am going to use them just in case I do fall. You never know. Safety tip, always wear gloves. You never know when you're going to have a little accident. I just won't turn them on. These are uh, heated gloves. So it went all the way up to full. I think I'm gonna do the country route, guys. I wanna see myself in that reflection again. I think that's pretty cool. Very rarely do I ever see myself on the scooter. Let's start off over here. I'm gonna use all this as mirrors right now. Here we go. Peace to all my YouTube fans. All right, better pay attention to traffic now. one time 
I actually came to that stop sign. Oh, I actually came to that stop sign right there, and then um, I ended up breaking down right over here. And then I actually pushed my scooter over here and tried to clean out my carburetor. But uh, I didn't have the right freaking Phillips screwdriver. It stripped out all the bolts, so I called a tow truck. If you guys want to see that video, it's in my playlist somewhere.
I was a young boy, I used to be like, damn, it's boring out here. I'm down the orchard fields, you know? And I always wanted to go stay at my sister's house, which is in Turlock. <laughs> now that's my hometown, right? But yeah, man, uh, now as a grown up, grown up I'm 44. I'm a grandpa as well. And uh, I, I wish I could go back to the country, guys. I've been out here before and then I, I go which way do we go from here let's see is it left here yeah we can go left there but no Children of the Corn. Man, when I grew up as a kid, I think that movie came out. And it was uh, out in the country, these disturbed kids, man, did evil things. Uh, they came out of the cornfields. Man, that's a beautiful sight right there. Alright, there's the freeway way over there. That's Turlock over there guys, that's my hometown. So yeah, we're going to be coming up into my hometown. We just took the country way. We're only about a mile, mile off of town, you know?
uh, having a lot of quickening. Hard workers right here, guys. that before in my early uh, when I was a kid I didn't go back the next day heck no that's why I gave him a lot of respect and, well I was a kid too man but I right away when I noticed I developed was uh, soreness and between my pointer finger and my thumb a lot of soreness from working that oh you know and uh, maybe a splinter or two man, but arching over my job at one time let me tell you guys something you guys can hear me what the hell is that noise oh uh, you see that one camper that's right there it used to be mobile mobile a lot of other ones right here but that one that's right there he's the one that lives here he's the one that does the sprinklers cuts the grass and that was going to be my position they had a trailer not that trailer they had me a trailer that you pull on a fifth wheel and uh, my job was going to have to take care of the premises of the moose lodge. This is called the moose lodge right here. You know, make sure I spray for weeds, hoe weeds, you know, and get my rent free. And uh, I don't know, man, it just didn't go through. And I had a stepbrother helping me with that deal. And I felt, uh, uh, I felt they overpriced me for my trailer. You know, the fifth wheel was going to cost me... Uh, at first, one guy, him and his partner were going to, he said we found a lady that's selling the fifth wheel. They are going to place it right here because these guys are acquainted with the moose lodge. And uh, it was going to uh, cost me, one guy said 1200 the other guy said 16 So I was like, wait a minute, if their prices, they're making money off me somewhere. heard me right now I was like it's good and then I just stopped because I realized uh, I was going too fast for you guys to hear me but I was like I was waving hi to that like giving that trucker out of a respect to wave because he could have easily pulled out in front of me but instead he waited for me to cross you know He's gonna go disc up some field. Looks like he's gonna get this one right here. No, maybe not. There's a truck behind me.
Man, yeah, that feels pretty good, man. That nice little ride right there. Make sure my camera angle is good. yourself going too fast for a corner I suggest you to use your back brake which is your left your left uh, lever right here your right your right brake will always be your main stopping like look at I'm gonna push real hard on my back brake so yeah it stops but let me push real hard on my right brake it stops a lot faster but you don't want to do that in the middle of a turn, guys. You might want to ask why. It brings your scooter back up. So if you're trying to turn and you're pushing that, it's going to bring your scooter back up. That's what I found out. That's what happened to me. Whenever I was, uh, whenever I bought these scooters, guys, mind you, I had a... Uh, Honda 750 uh, Nighthawk motorcycle and uh, I've always used both brakes too whenever I come to a stop or something like a bump you know I'll use both brakes but in the middle of a turn like if you're on a sharp turn and you're like oh crap I better slow down if you want to hit that right brake the, your front brake hit it lightly If you have to, man, just, yeah, hit it lightly or hit it hard and come to a, go up to the side road, just stop, you know what I mean? I had a, I had a, uh, one time I was going on a turn, guys, I'm going to be honest, one time in my beginning, my beginner uh, riding days, I was hitting a sharp turn and I was like, oh man, I'm going too fast. So I was hitting my front brake pretty hard and then it was screwing up my turn, it was bringing me back right side up. And I just went up to the side, man, and I was in the dirt. I was like, man, I freaking, uh, it shocked me, you know, so I'll share that with you. Don't think you're going to go on a sharp turn and use your weak brake, and if it ain't doing enough, you're going to hit your right, your, your front brake. It's going to make you come right up side, and you ain't going to be able to turn no more if you hit your right, if you hit your right, your front brake hard, it's going to screw up your whole turn. I always try to tell, uh, for, I always say for advice to new beginners, you can always hit both brakes hard if you're going to, if you're uh, straight ahead. But if you're in a turn, try not 
not to hit your right for your front brake. Try not to use your front brake, which is your right lever right here. This is my old house, guys. Let me turn around and go ahead and tell you a little story here. So I used to live right here. I used to have grass and everything. As you notice, there's a car lot next door. So this car lot guy, we had bushes out here. This is where I raised my family at, man. So here I am at 14 years old, the father of two boys. So I was uh, doing landscaping and, you know, bringing in good money. But um, all this here was dirt, grass. I mowed it with my big old tractor lawnmower. But um, the next door asked me, they're like, hey, uh, is your landlord selling the house? Uh, can we have his number? Absolutely not, man. You cannot have his number. He's going to leave me and my family homeless, you know, or looking for another house. But yeah, man, I have a lot of memories in this house. And sure enough, what do you know? We ended up uh, being told that we had to move. They got the landlord's number somehow. The landlord lied. He says, yeah, don't worry. I'll put you in another house. They have no other house, guys. But yeah, man. That was a nice little home right there. Had a nice garage. We had a billy goat in the backyard. I get I like it right there, a lot of yard, you know? And it was right here next to my job, at the landscaping. I worked right here at Foster Farms. This is Foster Farms plant one, or no, plant two, plant two. You figure I know my plants. <laughs> plant one, plant two. Uh, I always thought this was plant one until right now. What a trip. That's plant two. I never worked in that one. I worked in this one. This right here, uh, now you can't see because it's here. But uh, that's where the live hang. And uh, my job was as a sanitationer was sport everything, make everything ready for the next shift, you know? You gotta sanitize everything, make it like spotless. No feathers, no blood, no guts, nothing. see that gravel never hit or that either loose debris like loose sand loose gravel never think you're going to come up and hit your front brake hard on that it's going to make you skid and slide just curious what is that a washcloth all right guys thank you guys for watching gy6 scooters do not forget to go check out the facebook group i have it's also called gy6 scooters uh there's already 6,600 members there i've only started it like a year ago and it took off like a rocket guys so the reason why i created uh gy6 scooters on facebook group was to give my channel for all you guys that's watching my content a place to go to where we can actually help each other a little bit more like hey uh, you know upload a video and say hey this is what I'm dealing with this is what it sounds like hey what's causing the sound what's caught you know so there's a lot of good intelligent people there man like I said we got over 6,000 members seems like every week we're gaining another thousand so yeah check out TY6 scooters on Facebook 
Hope to see you guys there. And I'm going to go ahead and do my end intro right here. All right, guys. So it was a lovely ride. We did uh, maybe a 50, 58 mile round trip ride. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, do stay tuned. I am uh, uploading every week again. My upload days right now is Tuesday. No, no, uh, no less than one video a week, which would land on every Tuesday. But uh, I do plan on to start doing a lot of maintenance to my scooter, and I will be up uploading little how-to videos. So do subscribe. A lot of uh, good content's going to be coming in. And I do apologize for not my not having my microphone. That will be fixed by next month for sure. Until then, see you on the next one, guys. God bless. Everybody stay well and stay safe and healthy, all that. See you on the next one.